By far the biggest request we got on our PlayStation Remote Play for Steam Deck tutorial was how do I play games like Ghost of Tsushima and Astro's Playroom, which require the use of the DualSense or DualShock 4 touchpad. By default, Chiaki does not support mapping the DualSense or DualShock 4 touchpads to the Steam Deck, but there's a new fork of Chiaki called Chiaki 4 Deck, which adds Steam Deck exclusive features such as mapping the touchpad and automation from within Steam so you can directly launch into your PlayStation Remote Play session without having to open Chiaki at all. I'm going to walk you through how you can install Chiaki for Deck, some of the new features it offers, and then I'll demonstrate the touchpad mapping at the end of the video. Installing Chiaki for Deck is a pretty straightforward process, but it does require some command line functions, unlike installing Chiaki from the Discover Store. The reason for that is Chiaki for Deck is not included on Flathub at the moment, and so you need to grab it from their website. You can grab it by heading to streetp.github.io forward slash Chiaki for Deck, and the links to all of this is in the description below. Once you're there, head to the setup page and scroll down to installation. Here you'll see that we've got a command that we need to copy. And if you open this up on your Steam Deck, we're gonna click on the copy button to copy it to clipboard. Next, we're gonna to wanna to open up the console and we can go there by opening up the application launcher in the bottom right and just typing console and that's K-O-N-S-L-E. That's gonna open up a console window and we're gonna click on the paste button to paste in the command that we've just written. Click enter, and that's going to install Chiaki for Deck. So we'll just let this go through the installation process, and then we'll go through to the next step. Once Chiaki for Deck is installed, you can find it within the application launcher by going to All Applications and scrolling down. You'll see here I've got the original Chiaki build, and I've also got Chiaki for Deck below it. So I'm going to click to open up Chiaki for Deck. And that's going to open up Chiaki. And you can see it's found my PlayStation 5 here. Now you can go through the standard registration process if you'd like, if you want to just follow our instructions from the last video. And how that works is you just click onto the PlayStation 5 and you're going to need to fetch your PlayStation Online ID and the PIN number from the PS5. Now, if you didn't watch the video all about Chiaki, I recommend you go and check that out. And you can find the link in the description below or by hitting the I button. But if you're struggling to find your PlayStation Online ID or account ID, you can find that at psn.com flipscreen.games and you just need to type in your username. This will return the encoded ID as well as the raw ID for your account. Just copy on the encoded ID and you can paste this into the account ID section here. All you need then is the pin from your PS5 or PS4 and you can register your console with Chiaki. Now, if you've already installed Chiaki before, we can copy our settings over from Chiaki without having to register our PlayStation 5 again. Once you've opened Chiaki once, you can copy this command here, and we're gonna go back over to the console and paste this command in. So we just click the paste button and click enter again, and that's gonna copy our config from Chiaki over to Chiaki for deck, so we're not gonna to need to do anything else. And if I open up Chiaki, you can see it's now registered and ready for me to boot. Now, one thing we can do is add this directly to Steam as we did before in the previous Chiaki video, or something that Chiaki for deck offers is a level of automation. And that automation enables us to click directly onto an application within Steam and it will boot into the console immediately, skipping the step of having to boot into a specific console. Now, if you have multiple PlayStations, that may not be the ideal situation and you can go ahead and add Chiaki in the normal way. But I'm gonna show you how you can automate the process. We're gonna click onto the automation section within here and this is gonna walk us through the process. So we're gonna open up Chiaki and we're gonna to need to copy the IP address and we're gonna head back over to console. From here, we're then gonna create a script in order to do it. Chiaki for Deck has this gen launcher script and we can automate the process by just copying the script and we're gonna go over to the console and we're gonna paste it back in. Click enter and that's gonna download the script and it's gonna ask us what type of console we've got. Do we have a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5? So I'm gonna say number two because I've got a PlayStation 5 console and I'm gonna to need to enter my IP address and I can get that by opening up Chiaki for Deck. And you can see the IP address here is 192.168.8.128. So I'm just gonna type that in. Then it asks us, do we want it to be full screen, zoom or stretch? Chiaki for Deck adds a couple of additional options. 
by default, Chiaki only shows the 16 by 9 ratio. Chiaki for deck adds a couple more options in here. We've got zoom, which will zoom into the screen to remove the black bars top and bottom, or we can stretch the screen to fill in where it would be on the Steam Deck. And that stretches the image from a 16 by 9 ratio to a 16 by 10. And I'm going to click 3 just to demonstrate what that looks like. Now it asks, do you have a PlayStation login passcode? I do not, but if you do, click Y and it will ask you for your passcode. And would you like to test the newly created script? I'm going to say no. Now you can see that that has gone ahead and finished up the installation process. Now we just need to add that script to Steam. So I'm going to open up Steam. I'm going to click Add New Game in the bottom left corner and click Add Non-Steam Game. I'm going to click on Browse. Now we're going to find where the script is. Now this is within our home folder, var, app. We're going to go to re.chiaki.chiaki for deck. We're going to go into config and then chiaki. And it looks like there's no files in here. If we just select file type at the bottom, all files, you can see we've got the chiaki.conf file, but the file we want is chiaki-launcher.sh. We're going to click open. And we're going to click Add Selected Programs. We're going to head over to the library. And we're going to scroll down to find chiaki-launcher.sh. I'm going to right click and click Properties. And I'm going to change the name of this to Chiaki for Deck. Now it's important we name it Chiaki for Deck, all lowercase, because that will give us access to the community created controller profiles that will allow us to use the trackpad within games like Ghost of Tsushima or Astro's Playroom, and I'll demonstrate that for you at the end of the video. Once I've done that, I'm going to click the X button just to back out of it, and I'm going to close up Steam and head back to gaming mode. Here we are back in gaming mode, and I'm going to go over to my library to find Chiaki, and that's within the non-Steam game section. And you can see I've got Chiaki for Deck installed here, and I'm going to click the play button just to boot it up. That's going to launch up Chiaki for Deck, and it's going to boot directly into a stream with my PS5. This may take a little bit longer than the normal Chiaki that you're used to because it's while it's launching, it's setting up that connection with your PS5 or PS4. And here we are booted into my PS5. Now I'm going to click on the Steam button, and I'm going to go over to Controller Settings. And you can see at the top here, I've got a community layout that I've already selected. And you can find a bunch of them by heading over to the layouts and going to community layouts. And with here, you can find an absolute ton of them. Now, the one that I recommend is Chiaki 4 Deck Plus by Gmoney23. And that's the official one that Street P has set up. And this will give you access to the touchpads as if it was a PlayStation 5 touchpad or PS4 touchpad. But it also adds a bunch of buttons to the back. The PlayStation button is mapped to the L4 button. You can end the session with the L5 button, and if you hold the L5 button, it will completely shut down. The R4 button will zoom in, and the R5 button will stretch it. So you can choose if you want to stretch the image or have it zoomed in or out basically on the fly. Now I'm going to boot up one of the games, Astro's Playroom. And this is one of those games that requires the use of the touchpad. It was designed to show off the PS5 DualSense controller. But other games like Ghost of Tsushima also use them and it's a mandatory use case. Once this is booted up, I'm going to head over to handheld mode and I'll show you how the touchpad mapping works with Chiaki 4 Deck. Here we are booted into Astro's Playroom and you can see I've got the image stretched. And if I tap on the back right button, the R5 button here, it swaps between stretched and unstretched mode. And the R4 button zooms in rather than stretching the image. Personally, I prefer it in the native 16 by nine, but I know a bunch of people prefer the 16 by 10. And we can also have a look and see how the touchpad mapping works. And you can see I can just swipe to launch Astro. 
Now, if I want to exit out of a game, I can just hit the L4 button. That's the top left back button. And that will bring up the PlayStation menu here. Now, if I want to quit Chiaki entirely, I can either quit the normal way or to end the stream, which will also turn off my PlayStation, I can hit the L5 button. Now, some people may want to turn that off because it may cause some issues if they accidentally press the button, and that's absolutely fine. You can change the controller configuration quite simply, and there's a bunch of other options within the community layout, so you might want to play an experiment. Now, if you do change the name from Chiaki for Deck, you will find that the community layouts will be unavailable. And check out the Chiaki for Deck readme for more information about that. You can manually create the community layout and it's pretty simple to do, but I would recommend just leaving the name as Chiaki for Deck unless you're pretty particular about your library. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. If you want more from me, then check out this video right here, all about setting up remote play for your Xbox.